What is up, Neophytes? My name's Alan, aka Neocryptor, and welcome to some more Ark Extinction video coverage thing. I promise I won't do that in every video, but I don't know. It's it's just a thing right now. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great today. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. And uh, today, guys, I want to take a look. I think we're going to take a look at ye old gas bag. And no, I'm not just calling it names. That is what this creature is called. Believe it or not, it is the gas bag. So what is the gas bag? Well, it is an herbivore. That means you can tame it with meho berries, crops, etc. We have no idea what kibble it takes yet. So that's the thing. Uh, but yeah, if you take a look at it, it's not very fast. This is it walking. This is it running. As you can see, it, it, it don't run. It just does not run. Nope. And it does, you know, you don't have a saddle here at the front, but if you put a saddle on it, it enables there to be a passenger on the back. Then on the worm, cat, the fuzzy cat, caterpillar boot, the caterpillar boot, the boot. Now, as you can see right now, we are fully inflated. What does that mean? Well, if you hold down right click, you suck air in. And then if you hold space, you're up, up and away. And as you can see, we can float around, we can slow down, and then we're gonna fall down and take a lot of damage because that is one thing these guys are great at doing is ow, falling and taking fall damage. <laughs> They're absolutely wonderful at it. So that being said, this is a deflated. So as you can tell, it looks a little bit, it's definitely a little bit smaller. And you know what? Let, let's heal this guy up real quick. Let me toggle infinite stats on and off real quick. So we can take a look there. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. One thing I have noticed is it has a very, very high oxygen stat. This is just a theory. I have not tested this yet. We are going to test this though. I think the more oxygen you put into it, perhaps the longer it can stay up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna suck in all the air that we can real quick. Oh yeah, get that, get that air, get that air, get that air. And then we're just going to Tap it real quick to take off. And then can we go down? Okay, if we hold... All right, if we hold C, if we tap C, we seem to expel all of our air real quick. So let's suck some air in again. And we are going to see how long we stay in the air. I'm just going to tap space lightly and start counting. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight seconds is what we stay in the air by default. Let's suck that. Let's suck uh, some more air in real quick. And now that we're full on air, let's put three points into oxygen. Yes, take a look. Our little air gauge is now has more room. And he got even poofier, if, if that is a thing. So let's get up in the air. And actually, I, I forgot to start counting. So we're going to have to do that over. That's okay, though, right? That's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> get back over here real quick. So we can see what we're doing. Let's suck some air in. And do that one more time. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. That wasn't really fair. It would have been eight. It would have been the same, um, except we landed on the bridge. So that kind of, that kind of concluded that. All right, let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. So what we can do is we can suck in air. We can hit space to take off. And now we're using air at, by steering it and stuff. So keep that in mind. And we just lost all of our air. So there's, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Fuzzy, wuzzy, wuzzy. That was the thing, that was bad. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're just gonna hop over here though. Okay. So this guy is interesting. He does carry a lot of weight. As you can see, I have not put anything into weight at all. The first three levels you just saw me spend on oxygen. And he can carry almost 4,000 at level 105. I believe he was, what, 102? Yeah, 102 before we started. 
So they are the they are the not as good Quetzal, <laughs> I guess you could say. I actually think they carry a little bit more than a Quetzal by default. So they're pretty good. Again, let me toggle infinite stats real quick. Get this guy healed up. And uh, let's see if we can figure out how to get down safely when we're up in the air. Man, that is just so cool to watch, isn't it? All right. So if we don't, that doesn't seem to do anything. What about X? Okay. X seems, we seem to, I don't know if that's because we bumped something or if that's a thing. Okay. Now if we hit X, no, hitting X, air brakes are not a thing on this guy. All right. So long as we're not completely out of air, he will land softly is what it's looking like. So yeah. Okay. So when you're flying around on these guys or hopping, cause it's more like a, you know, tossing a balloon. The thing that you want to do is feather. You don't want to be way up in the air and run out of, uh, <laughs> run out of oxygen in him, in his big balloony gut, because then you're going to take fall damage. If you're, if you don't, you don't do that, then you can just kind of float around and softly touch the ground. At least that's the way it's seeming. So that is going to be the best way. Of course, we do. We can steer. He's very slow to turn, whether he's in the air or in the land. Um, we can press forward to get a little bit of a boost going on, but that expends our oxygen supply. And we can hold back. Ah, we can hold backwards to land a little bit safer. Okay. Let's get away from that guy because he wants to sting our booty. Okay. So... These guys are very, very cool little additions to the arc. I guess the next thing we need to figure out. Okay, can I maybe? Oh, so close. All right, we're, so, we're, we're, we're good though, we're good. Okay, I guess the next thing we need to figure out is where on earth do we find these guys? I mean, they're herbivore, we know that. Can I? Ugh. Okay, so we can walk and suck in there. All right, a lot of testing here. I haven't actually uh, played with these guys yet. Okay. Um. Uh. Wow, I got some. Our boy got hops. Okay. Let's get in the bubble and touch down lightly. Excellent. Okay, so that's good to know. Ah, okay, so if we're on the ground, I think as a defensive maneuver, yeah, you can definitely blow dinos around by hitting the C button. We have a standard bite attack, which I assume doesn't really do much. We have the, we have the inhale, blow things away attack, and that's pretty much it. It floats around. It's not meant to be in combat. It is meant to, you know, transport your goods about. So let's uh, take a quick cut here. If I remember to hit the right buttons, my bindings are all messed up, that is. And figure out where these guys can be found. As you can see, we are just literally outside the city here on the map. Uh, we are at what? What are we at? What are we at? We are at 4161, and there was a couple right outside the gate with some corrupted Tyrannananananadons and uh, looks like some trikes that are doing their thing. As you can see, when they are threatened, they do, they do definitely take off. And say, nope, I'm done with this. We getting out of here. Mm -hmm. So your best, the best method to tame one of these guys is probably going to be trying to build a trap around them. Because I don't think you're going to be a lure because they are passive. I wonder if it by chance, I haven't tested this yet. I wonder if by chance they might be a passive tame. Let, let's, let's see. Let's see here. Are you a passive tame? No, you are not a passive tame. So I wonder how hard it is to knock them out. I am using a, I'm going to be using a primitive rifle here. Okay. On the enforcer, we can't use. I'm going to be using a primitive rifle with normal trank darts. Let's see how hard it is, bad it is going to be. Woo! Oh, he's sucking in the air. He's sucking in the air. He is going to attack. Look at that. They do attack. Okay, so you can definitely lure them in. They're not very fast, so that is definitely a thing. You can... And he doesn't seem to do a lot of damage either. At least. I might be on infinite stats. 
there's there's a strong chance that I'm on infinite stats right now. So no, don't do it. We want to take him alive, alive, my young foster friend. But there we go. Actually, it's, trying to tame this guy really isn't that bad. At least if he's by this wall. And they don't move all that fast. So they're really, as long as you're aware of your surroundings, not going to be that hard to take down, as you can see here. Infinite stats aside. I mean, you could, you could definitely build a trap. It would definitely help you quite a bit, I am sure. But I don't entirely think it is necessary. Now, defending your tame, whoa, whoa, whoa when it's down, is completely a different story. Hi. Hi, bud. This is only a level 36 one. Actually, no, my armor seems to be, my tech armor seems to be absorbing all the damage. Maybe I am not on it, but that's okay. Come on, buddy. I'll have to check that in a minute. I don't think I am. Can we do it? Will you go to sleep? Uh, run, man. There we go. Getting stuck on some trees. That works for me. It works for trikes. Oh, and away he goes again. Luckily, he can't stay up in the air forever. So that makes life a little bit easier. Let's continue to pelt him. If I can actually manage to pelt him, that'd be great, right? No, you know what? I realize I am not on infinite stats because I wouldn't have been thirsty a little while ago, which I was. So they really just don't seem to do that much damage. All right, let's get down there. Let's get down there. Look closer. Come on. You got to be close to being going down, right? You know, this is where Super Spy Glass would be handy, but I do not have that installed. Yeah, you're running. So that's a thing. We're running. There we go. And it's down. Oh, man, I like that. I like that down animation. That down animation is nice. So, hi, Lonnie. Are you getting in on my video? Let's put some mayo berries on it and get Lonnie to be quiet and we'll be right back. All right, now that Lonnie is silent, let's take a look at this guy in some detail. Hey, you, come here, come, come over here. I want you out of my, out of my way, out of my way. Okay, you got that, all right? You, you can stop following me now, right? Okay then. Yeah, let's take a look here at our friendly neighborhood flying bug. Yeah, you can see the corruption on its belly. The difference between it and the... Is that it? I think it has a click. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> you can see the difference here on its belly. The corruption is on it, but it's blue. And that seems to be a trend with any of the creatures that are corrupted that have not lost their mind. Instead of them being purple, they are blue. As we know, the corrupted creatures cannot be tamed. So that is a thing. All right. As this guy is down taking a nap for a little while, and oh man, it looks like this is going to take a while uh, doing the mayo berries. I'm just going to make a cut here, and we will come back once. What is that? What is that? Is that a bear? We'll come back once he's awakened, if I'm not dead, because I want to see a little bit closer. Is that a bear? Yeah, it's a bear. Okay, I'm leaving. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, just as a side note, I thought I would bring you back and let you know what I found out. I indeed did have infinite stats on during that. 
So, yeah, that's the thing. Or did I? Because I... Yeah, okay. So I'm... Oh, God. Oh, that bear. The bear. The bear. That was close. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Your uh, <laughs> mileage with the damage that these guys do very well might be... Uh, might vary a little bit. I, I don't know how much damage they do. Um, obviously, the type of armor you're wearing will mitigate it. You know, have some mitigation, I guess I should say. So, that is something. And one thing I noticed, guys, I did not know in my last video. I have three teleport bars on my Enforcer now. So, apparently, the more energy, the higher your energy stat, I'm thinking, um, the more you can teleport. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's, let's test that out. Let us just go bam. Give him some levels and find that out, shall we? I think we shall. All right, so we have three now. What if we go... And will that do anything? Or is the sound of ace? Hmm. Maybe the highest you can get is three. That might be a thing too. Energy, let's just... Yeah, let's give him a lot. Let's, let's still let's just you know level him out here, and I mean we are experimenting so and waiting for our gas bag to wake up. All right, so now it looks like three might be the highest they can go. That may be a thing. Let's give him some more speed. Whoa, speed stat! Look at that. I just got another bar. I'm going to guess that was from the speed stat. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Well, we got four. So some combination of stats, either speed or energy or both, uh, affect your, uh, <laughs> affect how many teleports you can do in a row. Or maybe the love, maybe, uh, can we force feed this guy? Will that be? Is that thing? No. No, we can't force feed him. But you know what we can do? We can go infinite stats on, infinite stats off, and get off and on and see if we have any more bars. Nope. But we have four, t four pips for teleporting now. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's just a side note. I mean, we're, we're here to talk about our friendly bugalo, right? I mean, they actually do kind of remind me in a weird way of the Bugalos from Futurama. 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 Whatever you want to call it. It's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Once this guy is awake, we will be back. Oh, my God. There are so many corrupted raptors up there. I am probably going to be boned. I have this distinct feeling. So, yeah. Let's, um... Are you going to attack you? There. Fair. Are you going to attack our bugalo? Because I, I, I do not approve of you attacking our bugalo. Yeah, you just don't seem to care. You don't seem to care. That's that's good. Because there's a lot of bears around here all of a sudden. And oh my god, there's so many so many raptors over there. Uh, um, let's get in there. No, let's not get in there. That would probably be super bad. Oh, kill the bear. Raptor, die, raptor. Okay, yeah, the raptors died. They died easy. Okay, I, I, I feel well guarded with our wild bears and <laughs> our stegos. Yeah, yeah, guarded. That's that's the word I'm looking for. And our for. level 52 gas bag is up. Now, right away, you don't need a saddle to get one of these guys. So you don't have to come prepared with a saddle, but you know, if you wanted to make that saddle, so you had, oh, I don't know, a little bit of protection you can simply do that. It's very easy to make. It's very cheap. As you can see, 150 keratin, 185 fiber and some hide. And we have a little, oh, 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 oh let's move. Let's move, get him, guy. Come on, Enforcer. You can save us. You can save us all. Bam, we have a little armor now, so let's get in here and help. Good chance to see how much damage this guy can do. Answer is not a lot. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> All right, let's see. 
what are the stats on a level 52 that way we have a reference yeah look at that weight that weight is insane guys for a, kind of a mid-level creature i am running default you know multiplier of one difficulty so yeah uh none of the stats have been augmented nothing like that so that is a good amount of weight for such a low level creature um oxygen is 17 1720 which is pretty good let's go ahead and uh Go this way. <laughs> Whistle passive. Hopefully that was far enough. No, but I, you know, I think our enforcer's got it. I think he's got it. Are you coming, man? Are you gonna follow me? Or are you broken? Did you did you break? Are 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 you are you, are you coming? What what's up with you, man? No, you okay? Wow, okay. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay, so I'm going to head back to the base. <laughs> I'll meet you guys. I'll meet you guys there. Woo, that was a thing. You know, flying these guys is actually a little bit fun. It's kind of like... Have you ever, you know, played with balloons, blew them up, and just let them go? And this guy just kind of it just teleports everywhere. All right. So yeah, guys, that is the gas bag, which is what we wanted to take a look at today. Again, this was just kind of a let's take a look, let's figure them out type video uh, in single player. Obviously, I am using cheats because there's no way I've so progressed. I mean, well, my character is progressed. This is my character from, you know, our season four vanilla series. I moved him over here, but yeah. So you saw how tame it, um, really it's not that hard. As long as you can kite these guys, I think you'll be fine. I don't think they do that much damage. Um, otherwise you can build a trap, standard trap with, you know, some dino gates or, and a bear trap or something and have it run into it, get stuck, you know the drill. But yeah, so that's really all there is to know about these guys. That, and uh, I hope you found this informative. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and just, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.